1992, I coached a great swimmer by the name of Summer Sanders. Summer Sanders made the Olympic team in four events. Well, the press loved Summer Sanders. She was beautiful. They loved her name. They loved the fact that she went to Stanford University. And they built her up as the star of the Summer Olympics. And it wasn't fair. She wasn't ranked number one in the world in any event. And yet they said she was going to win four gold medals. The press loves to build people up and then tear them down. Well, in the Olympic Games, the games last in, in swimming eight days. Well, on the first day of competition, Summer Sanders swims the 400 individual medley. And she swims a phenomenal race. And if you know anything about Summer Sanders, she's a front runner. She likes to get out there in front. She swims a phenomenal race, and she gets touched out right at the end by a couple of people. And comes third. Afterwards in the press conference, and you've got to realize there's more press at the Olympic Games than the Super Bowl, because it's an international event. The press says, what happens, Summer? You didn't win. Her answer was, I just swam my lifetime best time. In fact, it's a new American record. And I just won a bronze medal in the Olympic Games. I couldn't be happier. A couple of days later, she swims again. It's the 200 individual medal. Again, she swims a phenomenal race. And right at the end, somebody gets by her. Now it's a girl from China. And later she was disqualified for using performance enhancing drugs. Not from the Olympics, but in her career. She was cheating then, and, and someone got beat by cheating. Now the response has picked up a little bit from the press. Summer, what's the matter? Are you going to win anything in this meeting? You're having a bad meet, and I'm serious. Those were the kind of questions. Now, <clears throat> I'm standing here with Summer, and I wanted to hit some reporters right on the end of the nose. I wanted to ask them, are you the second best reporter in the world today? <laughs> but Summer wouldn't let me do that. She had far too much class for that. Her answers were the same. I just swam my lifetime best time. In fact, it's a new American record. And I just won a silver medal in the Olympic Games. I couldn't be happier. Well, the last day of the meet rolls around in the summer swimming the 200 meter butterfly. That's four lengths of a 50 meter pool butterfly. And um, as I said before, she's a front runner. She likes to get out in front and stay there, and if you're going to beat her, you're going to have to come from behind. Well, in the race, in the 200 meter butterfly final, at the end of the first 50, Summer's in third place. At the 100, halfway through the race, she's still in third place. With 50, but in fact, with 15 meters to go, Summer Sanders is in third place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at that moment in her career, she had a decision to make. I call it the critical moment. She could have bought into all the negativism that she had faced the previous seven days. She wasn't going to win anything. She could have bought into that. I won't say the word. She was in a place where she was uncomfortable. Now, I'm proud of Summer Sanders. I get a little emotional about this. I'm proud of Summer Sanders for a lot of things. But the thing I'm most proud of is that, in that at the critical moment, she did what she had practiced years to do. She kept living a dream. 
she kept swimming her heart out. And the last stroke, she finds a way to touch the wall first <clears throat> for an Olympic gold medal. She didn't buy into the negativism. She was willing to live in a place where it was uncomfortable to get to her dream. 